Welcome back to uh, Trillium Niagara uh, Learning Channel. Someone mentioned on the um, YouTube um, channel content about um, on the comments, sorry, about series transform, and I thought, yes, I haven't actually covered that. So we're going to cover series transform. So the palette you find for series transform is uh, in the M4 palette and it's down here series transform so let's just uh, search for the palette and type in series and there it is provides function to transform form time series values so basically we use a history and within the history uh, we can add um, instead of having a CSV for one history we can put 10 20 30 histories into one CSV so this is one that I've done long time ago and I'm just give you an example of what it looks like first and then we can start from uh, scratch so I'm just going to resolve the graph and that will pop up so here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 heat meters with 1 hour intervals and you can see there's 5,653 rolls currently. Some meters weren't online and then they, I think that's one roll here where they're all online and they're giving back the kilowatt hour values every hour of that meter. So that's one CSV file that they're going to receive via email, but it's actually including all the meters for that, uh, all the meter data for that. And if I go back, and this one's for every 15 minutes, so if I right click that, resolve the graph, go OK, and this will populate for every 15 minutes so you've got the 12.30 there 12.45 so that was 20th of November when I first started that 22 and that's data right through to the 30th of July 23 and that's uh, today at uh, this morning at 8.45 and that's giving you again all the information for these meters one two three four five six seven eight nine in that case all on one spreadsheet now to send it once you've done your series transform and set it all up which I'll show you how to do that you use a Vicon Pro report source to send it so here you can see that the source is transform and then it's slot service report service QMC which is a site and QMC table to CSV and then I've just given it a, a report name and I've delayed it by 10 seconds and that sends at 6.05 every Monday morning um, yeah Monday 6.05 so how you would do that one how you would actually put the link in so once you've done your series transform let's bring across a uh, Vicon Pro report serve. <coughs> so let's click on that. Let's go Vicon, and then we'll go across to the report, and we we'll bring that across onto the spreadsheet. So that hasn't got any information in there, but there's no source there. See that? There's no source. So what you do, or what I do, uh, there's, there's other ways of doing it, is I will um, double click that and it, up here I've got the full URL and I'll highlight everything to the slot there, control key C. And then I will go to this and then in here I will then put transform colon and then I'll paste what I've put in there slot services report service QMC next 
and then I'm going to select that I want it from a table to CSV and I'm going to go finish we can look at setup that's just doing nothing there really and then we go to finish so I've now posted that in there if it if you got it wrong it's not going to work ie it was not going to let you post it but I know that that's right so transform colon slot and just to show you if I exit out of there save changes look at this one here you can see transform colon and then slot colon and then services and the full full name and then all you do there is you link that then to um, a report file if you want to save it on the station uh, in this case I've got a file directory called QMC I've included the timestamp and the time format I mean if I go to QMC so if I go down here to files QMC these are the saved reports and I'm using a timestamp so I'm saving it every time it makes a report once a week I'm saving that report now if you don't if you just want to overwrite the report you uh, put include timestamp to false and then it will just save one report and overwrite the uh, the last week's report so let me delete that so now let's go into how this is built up the QMC so we've got the histories of the different let's go into one of them they're all the same apart from the, the histories <coughs> so this is looking at history Queen's Medical Center and if I highlight that so that's looking at that particular history there and it's bringing the data in for that history and I'm asking it to bring it in hourly and I just leave the time range as it is because I, I want everything I don't want last year or year to date I just want everything so hourly and then we've got the schemes there now what I normally do with the schemes let me go back in there is I will delete out of that the status and the trend flags this makes it easier for me when I'm actually uh, putting it all into the report so that way I've only got the value and that's all I want I'm, I'm not interested in in the, the rest and you duplicate basically this report and then you put in each individual histories so there's another history here for West hourly boiler 2 cancel that one another history here West 6 boiler 3 and this one here will be boiler 4 of what the title says boiler 4 and then I've got the other histories of the other heat meters then I put all this into a composite block composite node block let's go to series transform palette here just so you see where that, that, that is so the nodes and it's this block here composite so let's delete that and then you end with a terminal the terminal you don't do anything with as such you just got to join the composite to the terminal the terminal uh, doesn't it, it, it takes all the data and, and displays it for you so the, the composite one there if I open up this so we've got you can change this title to whatever you want it to be you don't have to uh, have kilowatt hours in brackets or you can take it out or you don't have to have total you, you put your own text in there but the value is what you want to display from the history and you will pick up that value so total chilled water dot value that is from where this is from total chilled what is from this uh, node here and then from there open the composite again so you put in all your your history values you put your own text in of what you want 
and then you go OK. So all these are joined to the transform inputs and then the output is just going to the terminal and that's your transform block done. That, that's it finished, ready to go and then to see the data all you would do would be right click on this, resolve graph, go OK and this will be the data that would be sent by the CSV file. That's the data that they will receive. And that is basically how you do a series transform. Um, if you want me to go further into detail, I can do it. I can do a video from scratch, but I think this gives you an idea of how to do it. Um, I can't think of anything else to add to that apart from the transform um, nodes you've got quite a few nodes here aggregate roll up scale uh, composite is what we've used here time shift filter cleanser and now if you want to know what that node is just click on it right click views and then just go to a guided help and it will tell you what it's all about and give you probably some examples um, I mainly use composite all the time so it, that, that's one site there oh where I store it that's a good one probably to keep uh, mine's in services and then alarm ser uh, services and then report service so I've got different sites here so I've got one site there we've got some service transforms in that's a, that's a big one that one there um, quite a few histories there and then the next one the QMC site which you've just seen and then the Mayfair site that's only got a small one AG bar site that's got quite a few uh, heat meters Britvic site and that's got a few heat meters that heat meter that's a status fault at the moment with that one um, and I think that's about it that's how you do your report service